Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook, My Marvel Superman Girlfriend. Chapter 46, Paradise Island, Xin Yen's third day of training on the island came to an end. Half of the sun sank to the sea level, and the sea seemed to be burning with flames. Tomorrow is the day when Diana and Xin Yen leave the island and return to the human world. At the same time, it will be the annual Amazon Warrior Match Day on Paradise Island. This is a tradition that has existed since ancient times on the Paradise Island that promotes force. It is a competition that runs through individual cross-country, swimming, horseback riding, archery, spear throwing and other levels to select the strongest warrior. Then everyone in the Amazons will go forward. Come to watch and get together. Either way, it is destined to make the current eve of Paradise Island different from usual. When the female general Antiope came down from the mountain where the training ground was located, she saw Diana without a crown and black hair shawl standing at the only way to go home. His Royal Highness Diana. Antiope was about to salute, but Diana stepped forward first. Like the little girl before, Diana took her arm and blinked dexterously, Antiope, how about a walk with me? You. Antiope felt a little helpless to her, but more caring, so he nodded without hesitation. As night fell, the two came to the cliff next to the drill field. Diana said, Antiop, thank you for your training and teaching to Xin Yen these days. It's nothing. Teaching him is no different from teaching other Amazons. Antiop shook his head and said in a deep voice, have you really decided? You will leave Paradise Island again tomorrow and go back outside. To the human world. Antiop raised his eyebrows and said with dissatisfaction, it's only been three days, that kid, I just learned a few things. To make him a real warrior, it takes more time to hone. Quote. Diana suddenly laughed and said, Antioch, didn't you reluctantly teach him at the beginning? Now, why do you want to teach him more? Like, before secretly training in secret, just like me when I was a kid. Antioch didn't comment on this, I admit. He still has some abilities in learning and fighting. Unfortunately, after all, it is just an ordinary human physique. No matter how much you practice, it can only improve a little self-protection ability. Diana said, as long as there is a foundation, this is enough. Could it be that? Antiope recalled for no reason, the strange scene of Xin Yen suddenly reversing the situation three days ago. Antiope pondered for a while, looked at Diana and said, your mother, don't you plan to summon him? Now, compared to a few days ago, some Amazons have gradually recognized him. That's not enough. Diana's beautiful eyes shone brightly. She said, Antioch, can you please help me with one more thing? His Royal Highness, please speak up. Antioch nodded solemnly. Diana said, I want to sign up for Xin Yen and let him participate in the warrior competition tomorrow morning. What did you say? Antioch suspected that he had heard it wrong his face was full of surprise. She quickly understood again, if Xin Yen can play well in the warrior competition, he will be recognized by most Amazons in one fell swoop, and the Amazon queen will also be on stage to watch the game tomorrow. However, not to mention that Xin Yen is just a human teenager. Even if he has the power to defeat her three days ago, he will never be able to stand out in the game, and the possibility of being ugly is even higher. After all, Tomorrow's competition will not be a one-on-one -on -one battle, but a comprehensive performance of physical fitness and technical skills. His Royal Highness, you will ruin yourself like this. Antiop could not help but exclaimed. Naturally, she is not worried about Xin Yen tomorrow, but now the relationship between Diana and Xin Yen is almost all lost and lost. Let the human teenagers who have only trained for three days participate in the warrior competition and compete with the most brave and powerful Amazon warriors on the same stage. Even Antiop can hardly imagine what it is like. It's so decided. Diana said this sentence softly and surely, then turned and left, leaving Antiop standing alone in a daze. In the ancient round building, Xin Yen sat on the bed placed in the main hall, waiting for Aunt Diana's arrival. My aunt's reward every night has allowed him to support these days of hard training. After all, who can resist the Wonder Woman version of the God Pillow? Plus, the rewards are different every night. This difference lies in what the auntie wears. When the aunt came here on the first day, she wore a golden royal costume, like a noble and elegant god. It makes Xin Yen feel that even a finger movement is blasphemy. When the aunt appeared here the next day, 
Her clothes were changed to a white knee-length skirt with ancient Greek characteristics. It looks pure and beautiful, like a white peony. Ordinary gauze skirts with thin and soft fabrics have a completely different feel from the royal costumes with gorgeous workmanship. As for the night on the third day, it was last night. My aunt is wearing a corset and a short leather skirt that was commonly used in training before. The tight-fitting corset top wraps only half of the upper body, exposing a healthy and intact slender waist. So, although the first three nights were simple hugs, there was an indescribable difference between them. There was expectation and scorching heat in Xin Yen's heart. He looked up. I saw Diana wearing a red armored dress for battle tonight, which is what she was wearing when she transformed into a superhero, and she was also carrying exclusive weapons such as a long sword and a round shield behind her back. Auntie, are we leaving Paradise Island? Xin Yen quickly got up and asked curiously. No, after tomorrow morning, we will leave. Diana looked at him directly and said, Tomorrow morning, you will go to the Amazon Warrior Competition. Good. Xin Yen nodded simply. Do you know what a warrior match is? Diana raised her eyebrows. Xin Yen spread his hands and responded straightforwardly. I have vaguely heard the female soldier say something, but I don't know the specific content. If you don't understand the content, then you promised me. Diana came to Xin Yen's body and asked with his left hand holding his face lightly. Xin Yen smiled and said, My aunt arranged it, so there must be some reason for my aunt. That's it. Diana said to herself, Tomorrow, you will not only participate, but also find a way to get the first place. I'm afraid, a bit difficult. Xin Yen's confidence is seriously lacking. Although he doesn't know much about the game, he still knows that this is a competitive battle among female fighters. What if so? Diana said while she suddenly lowered her proud head. Um, Xin Yen's pupils shrank like the universe collapsed, and he could clearly smell the scent of violets nearby, and a good sense of warmth came from his somewhat dry lips. Wu, Xin Yen's eyes opened up little by little, looking at the beautiful face close at hand, her eyes suddenly turned into icy silver that was immersed in the gods. He held the familiar waist with both hands, his black hair tended to be unreal silver, and the frantically growing cloak fell on his shoulders. At this moment, Xin Yen seemed to usher in some kind of awakening, the surging invisible demigod power surging outward, shaking off some dust on the mother box not far away. Ability, the Lord of the Dependents. It's triggered. The next day, early morning. When the first golden sunlight in the sky fell on the Paradise Island, the main island area blew up. The female soldiers who are in drills or on duty on weekdays are fully armed, and the beautiful female civilians in white dresses gather together to form a mighty crowd, converging on a large ancient building on one side of the coast. The overall shape of the building is the same open-air ancient arena, with a flat and empty super plaza in the middle. The Amazonians will all stand on the stone steps surrounding the plaza. Quiet, your majesty the queen is here. As Antiope's voice sounded, the voice on the court immediately fell silent. Under the focus of countless worship, respect, love, etc., the supreme ruler of the Amazons Queen Hippolyte, wearing a crown that symbolizes power, appeared on an independent platform on the side of the arena, sitting with dignity and respect. On the golden seat. Your royal highness is here. Antiope, standing on the platform, continued to raise roar. Diana in the golden royal costume appeared behind the queen, and almost all Amazonians looked over her head subconsciously. There is no silver crown, only a gorgeous crown as a substitute, worn on his black hair. His royal highness, really gave his crown to humans. That's an artifact of the Amazon royal family, starlight is flying. The queen even agreed. Why does this happen? Seeing this scene, the Amazons on the stand in Gladiator Square suddenly started talking in an uproar, with shocked or confused expressions on their faces. In the past few days, only some Amazonians have seen it, and more have only heard about it. But now, they have seen Diana replace the flower crown with their own eyes, and it is still difficult for them to accept this fact for a while. Diana with a smile on her face, standing beside the queen's seat in various styles, still showing her confidence and beauty with her head high, she is still the strongest and most beautiful pearl of the Amazon family. Let's start. Queen Hippolyte said calmly as if she hadn't heard those comments. Antiope nodded, and immediately jumped down from the 10-meter high suspended platform, announcing loudly, the game is about to begin. Now, 
Please let the participants come on stage. The tall and robust female warrior wore light leather armor and walked from the gate of the arena into the middle of the square, enjoying the attention and applause of the Amazons. Eight participating female fighters stood lined up in the square. Antiop glanced behind them in amazement, there was no Xin Yan. Did you change your mind? Fair enough. Antiop secretly breathed a sigh of relief and looked up at Diana on the platform. But she found Diana smiling, still looking at the direction of the arena gate, her beautiful eyes shining brightly. No. Before Antiop bowed his head, he heard the abrupt applause from the arena. From the Queen of the Amazon to the civilians of the Amazon, they all looked at the main entrance of the arena. There, a figure stepped on the entrance time and appeared in the huge gladiatorial square at the end. The long silver-haired Xin Yan wore white banquet clothes, a very conspicuous crown on his head, and an ancient sword with two dragons biting each other on his back. As long as they are from the Amazons, no one does not know that sword. It was called the Vulcan Sword, and was made by the Vulcan god Hephaestus. It was powerful enough to kill the gods. The meaning of this divine sword is far more profound than the flying star crown. The former is a symbol of Diana's power, and the latter is Diana's identity and honor. At the moment, these two exclusive artifacts are in the body of a human teenager. In this game, there will not be a real battle game, and the weapons he brings are basically not used. So, this represents Princess Diana behind him. The Queen Hippolyte looked at Xin Yan who appeared last, and there was a glimmer of surprise in her eyes, and she never thought that she would meet for the first time on this occasion. On the gladiatorial square, Antiop glanced at the contestants including Xin Yan. Since everyone is here, the competition is about to. Wait a minute. Xin Yan suddenly raised his hand and asked curiously, can you tell me about the content and rules of the game? The square was suddenly silent. The female fighters participating in the competition are all stupid, and they don't know the content or the rule. You are the hammer. Antiop frowned, holding back his temper, and raised his hand to explain, it's very simple. From the square here is the initial starting point, swim through the sea outside and land on the beach from the other side of the island. Beach. There are prepared horses on board, using bows and arrows to hit three targets set on the road. Finally. Whoever returns to the square through the main entrance of the arena first, and throws the spear here over the ring of the arena building, is the winner. Worried that Xin Yan didn't hear clearly, Antiop said slowly, do you understand? If you don't understand, I'll talk to you again. No, let's get started. Xin Yan waved his hand, looking very casual. Antiop didn't look any further, gritted his teeth and said, I announce that the game has officially started. The voice just fell. Except for Xin Yan who was still standing in place, the other eight female soldiers rushed out quickly. They climbed a tens of meters of ladder in front of the square, preparing to enter the sea adjacent to the arena through the ladder. Seeing Xin Yan who was motionless, many people thought he had just given up. Seeing that a female soldier was about to climb to the top of the ladder, Xin Yan was only ready to set off, only to see him slightly squatting in the starting position. The next moment. The expression of Antiop nearby changed. She could truly perceive that Xin Yan seemed to be a different person, with sharp and calm eyes like a god, and her aura from being harmless to humans and animals, to fierce pressure with actual energy. Divine power, how is it possible? Antiop surprised roar. Bang! With divine power flowing, Xin Yan's feet pressed hard, and the whole person jumped up 20 or 30 meters and landed on the top of the empty ladder. With long silver hair dancing wildly against the strong wind, Xin Yan sprinted forward and jumped to the opposite shore of the sea of 100 meters. Tread. Xin Yan landed in the shallow waters of the sea, took a step, the sea burst and splashed, and arrived at the place where horses and bows and arrows were prepared. He did not choose to ride a horse, nor did he pick up a longbow. After all, there is no need for that. Xin Yan picked up three arrows at random and rushed up the mountain road very fast, not slower than horses. See the first target along the way. Xin Yan didn't stop, but tossed with his bare hands, and an arrow shot out of the wind, hitting the bullseye without a doubt. A cloud of blue smoke representing him, curled up into the sky like a wolf smoke. It's not like getting the strength of my aunt for the first time, maybe it's the second time to get this strength, or maybe it's the training result of the past few days. 
In addition, the direct media exchange and the content of the media make him more perfect with the power of the media master. At the moment Xin Yan is like a demigod since he was born. He continued to run along the mountain road, passing the remaining mountain roads with the speed and physical strength of the Superman like far. Inside the arena, although it is impossible to see Xin Yan's figure, everyone can clearly see that the three blue smoke representing Xin Yan, almost only less than 10 seconds apart, rose on different island locations. The Amazons on the field were stunned, as if they were witnessing miracles. After that, finally a second color of smoke appeared above the sky. At the same time, the main entrance of the arena. The billowing dust that stirred up all the way, deified Xinian, and rushed into the square with afterimages. From departure to return, it took less than a minute. Finally, finish this and it's over. Xinian came to Antiop who was still in a daze, took the unprepared spear from her hand, and threw it towards the golden circle ahead. Hold on, the ceremony has not been completed yet. Antiop said in surprise. But it was too late, the spear turned into a streamer, piercing the air. Gurgling. At this time, a golden goddess statue rose from the center of the square, and the spear thrown by Xin Yan hit its chest and penetrated from the back. The speed of the deviated spear did not decrease. It knocked off a corner on the metal ring. Splash, and then disappear into the distant sky. That, am I doing something bad? Xin Yan looked at the hollow in the middle of the goddess statue, and embarrassedly touched the back of his head. Queen, Diana, all Amazonians. At noon, the sun hangs high in the blue sky like a fireball. Outside the Paradise Island, just finished a five-day cruise on the sea, on the giant cruise ship returning. Facing the moist and cool sea breeze, the superb beauties in white skirts with slanted shoulders, and the immature teenagers who changed back to their modern uniforms, returned to the side of the third deck without the tourists noticing it. Auntie, I'm sorry, I messed up. Xin Yan drooped her ears like a little emperor. He could see in the morning, the Amazon queen's blue and ugly face. After all, that is a heavy loss that Paradise Island has never experienced in thousands of years. Just be careful in the future. Diana did not blame, but said softly. Next time. But, do I have another chance? Xin Yan twitched her mouth, and Antiop's anger came to mind again, and the female soldiers and civilians were dumbfounded. If he goes to Paradise Island again, he won't be besieged, will he? Definitely not. Diana smiled slightly, looked at a sea area further and further away, and whispered, they have actually recognized you, and welcome you next time. I will take you there later. See the queen in the palace. Xin Yan looked at Aunt Diana's profile, and his heart beat unconvincingly. Auntie originally looked very good, and when she laughed, she was obviously more beautiful. The corners of the lips that outline a seductive arc once reminded Xin Yan of the unspeakable scene last night. An electric shock-like warm current emerged from the corners of his mouth, fainted a little, and quickly invaded every part of his body. With a light kiss, step into the extraordinary. After entering the demigod mode, Xin Yan opened her silver eyes and looked at the nearby Wonder Woman with a calm and natural face. This, let's take it as a reward for the hug tonight. When she raised her head slightly, Wonder Woman made a somewhat unstable voice, revealing that she was not as calm as it appeared on the surface, and she seemed to be speaking to herself, however, this is also to allow you to inherit my strength. Yes, that's all. Whether this is self-deception or not, after all, it is an appropriate reason. A valid reason that can be at ease at this moment and cross that boundary briefly. So it's like this. Xin Yan muttered to herself, the blazing inner emotions hidden in the silver eyes of the gods. He said suddenly, not enough. What? Wonder Woman was taken aback, looking at Xin Yan blankly. Media, there are not enough. Xin Yan was very calm, and suddenly stood on tiptoe, stunned by the softness that was softened by the astonishment. Really, the media is not enough, and there is no way. Wonder Woman's eyes were also calm. She felt a little helpless, roar vented her heat, and then bowed her head unobstructed, sending something softer and sweeter. The silver and bright moonlight fell into the main hall, and on the stone altar, the mother box that had been shelved for thousands of years remained silent. Return to Washington. Simply clean up the hygiene at home, and Diana went out to work. In fact, Diana's job has changed every few years. In the past, Xin Yan didn't know the reason, 
but now he fully understands that with her aunt's physique that will never grow old. If she stays in one place for a few years, even if she is covered by magic spells, she might expose her unusualness. Fortunately, with Diana's excellent conditions, she didn't worry about finding a job. At present, he seems to be a shareholder in a well-known local private law firm in Washington. After Xi Nian took a shower at home, he turned on the phone that had been turned off for five days. Countless messages popped up on the screen of the phone when it was turned on. This shocked Xi Nian so much that he almost thought he had a virus. Without waiting for him to check the information on his cell phone, a doorbell rang at the door of his house. Xi Nian opened the door curiously and saw a healthy white young man standing at his door with a pet bag in his arms. The other party didn't know if it was because he didn't sleep well, he looked a little sluggish, and his eyes also had obvious dark circles. You are, without waiting for him to question. The white young man danced hands and feet with weird body movements, and said nonsense, hello. Is this Prince's house? This is where Miss Diana Prince lives. My name is Barry Allen. Barry Allen. Xi Nian remembered, remembering that the aunt said that she entrusted the emperor to a friend to take care of it for a few days. This is yours. Barry opened the zipper of the pet bag in his arms, and suddenly, a small orange figure rushed out. Wait. Barry was shocked, just about to use his ability. But he soon discovered that the orange beast shadow not only rushed into the boy's arms without malicious intent, but also constantly rubbed and drilled his arm socket with his little head, making a grieved, meow, sound like a real cat. Ha ha ha, Xiao Huang, it's okay these days. Xi Nian couldn't help but smile, and stretched out his hand to rub his soft fur head. Barry's eyes straightened, looking at the harmless kitten at the moment. If it hadn't been for him to fight this little guy with wits and courage these few days, and his superb power is not afraid of ability, even if this is still a lot of effort, he would almost think that this is really just an ordinary kitten. Well, do you know what's special about it? Barry asked directly. Xi Nian looked at the cute little emperor in his arms and nodded without hiding. Okay, since it is safe with you, that would be great. Barry let out a sigh of relief, and was about to turn around and leave, not forgetting to wave his hand, I'll go now. Wait, Xi Nian stopped him, smiled and stretched out his hand, my name is Xi Nian Prince. Thank you very much, it must be very tired to take care of this little guy. How to say it, it also has a certain cuteness. Looking at Xiao Huang, Barry took Xi Nian's hand and said quickly and sincerely, Moreover, Miss Diana once helped my father. It is reasonable for me to take care of the pets. Xi Nian is right, my home is far from here. Not far away, it's at number 26 on Zongxin Street. You are welcome to come and sit at my house if you have a chance in the future. I remember, brother. I will take Xiao Huang over to see you if I have a chance in the future. Xi Nian waved goodbye. Ah, uh, Xiao Huang, forget it. Definitely, I would welcome you if you come. The corner of Barry's eyes twitched. Watching Barry enter the elevator and leave, Xi Nian blinked and lowered his head to face the little emperor in his arms. Really a nice person, right? Meow, Xiao Huang exclaimed indignantly, as if to indicate that he could not beat him. It seems that he is also a person with extraordinary power. Xi Nian thoughtfully, after experiencing so many things, he is no stranger to encountering the extraordinary again. After all, who is not extraordinary in the family now? Putting Xiao Huang on the sofa aside, Xi Nian leaned on a comfortable soft back and turned on the phone to check the information that had not yet been checked in the future. Most of the bombardment information comes from personal social Twitter, and there are also some mobile phone text messages. Xi Nian's popularity in school is actually very ordinary. The only person who will specifically look for him on Twitter and send out a massive amount of information like a virus is the only one who has been playing together since childhood. Good. Brother, Ong Gwen. Xi Nian quickly flipped through the information on his mobile phone and read it. Gwen sent out Christmas greetings at the beginning, and some photos of his family and individuals celebrating the holidays. Flip your finger over the photo. Hey, Gwen's personal photo of the pink bunny pajamas looks good and very seductive. Xi Nian unceremoniously clicked on the collection. During the period, Gwen noticed that he did not reply to the information abnormally, and then sent a safety confirmation message and called. On the third day, Gwen once thought that Xi Nian was missing. 
Officer George couldn't help but check for his daughter. Only then did he know that Xi Nian's family had gone abroad. It is estimated that Officer George is completely eyeing him now. Xi Nian gave a wry smile and quickly responded, Sorry, Gwen. I worried you. My aunt and I went on vacation. Because we were walking in a hurry, I forgot to tell you. His message was clicked to send, and within half a second, Gwen replied, Huh. If an apology is useful, what else do the police do? I need sincere compensation. Okay, when you mention the compensation conditions, what can be met will definitely satisfy you. Xi Nian knew that he was wrong, and immediately agreed. Gwen, that's right, I have to think about the conditions. Don't be fooling around then. Okay. Xi Nian finished replying and continued to read other Twitter messages. He discovered that schoolgirl Kayla Danvers also sent a message of blessings on Christmas Eve. It's just that there is no second message after that. The last update on Kayla's personal Twitter is also as of Christmas Eve five days ago. It seems that it hasn't been online since then. You won't also go on vacation abroad. Xi Nian groaned, tapping his finger on the screen to reply to the message. First, I apologized and explained why I did not reply to the message, added a late Christmas greeting, and finally asked about the other person's health and travel status. As a senior's concern, after three consecutive years, Xi Nian checked the discussion group information in the class again and found that the instructor in the class had updated the class information. The group tourism activity originally scheduled for mid-January next year will be advanced to January 1st, New Year's Day next year. Today is the penultimate day of 2011. Isn't this a week of Christmas vacation and a three-day trip to New York after a day at school? Xi Nian was speechless, and now he still has some shadows about traveling. He thought to himself as long as it was pure, tourism. Don't be forced to save the world or be forced to practice hard training like the previous two so-called tourism trips, which is far from the purpose of tourism, such as entertainment and relaxation. After reading and responding to the information on Twitter, I was so bored and hoped that I picked up the news on the internet again. This look, Xi Nian couldn't help but widened his eyes in surprise, and subconsciously straightened his back, sitting upright on the sofa. With a solemn expression on his face, he quickly flipped down the news information on his phone. During the few days when Xi Nian stayed on Paradise Island, the heat of two events detonated the whole network. The first thing is about superhero Captain America, Steve Rogers. Due to the death of former U.S. agent Agent Peggy Carter due to illness, Captain America, who has recovered from the iceberg and disappeared for more than 70 years, made his first appearance in front of the public as one of the coffin bearers. Lovers of the same generation have aged and their bodies have passed away. As the first superhero to break through the boundaries of mankind, Captain America is still as young as a young man in his early 20s. There are no peers, no comrades in arms to fight together, and will never be able to fulfill that promise. This is extremely cruel to superhero. This is also a question of where Captain America will go after the ages in the 21st century. The second thing is about the god of the world in the metropolitan city. Superman. Since a year and a half ago, Superman became famous against the Krypton warships and forces, he has been helping mankind with Superman's might and he has been worshipped by many people as the gods of the world. But the direction of the fallacy in recent days has completely changed. Due to the destruction of buildings and accidental injury to humans, some citizens of the metropolis began to protest publicly. The Metropolitan Court announced that it would call Superman publicly for interrogation. The interrogation day will be set on January 2nd next year. Superhero Superman, it is very likely that he will be convicted and jailed. After reading the two major news items, Xi Nian's brows couldn't help but frown. There are more and more transcendents emerging in the world. Transcendents can only be used against transcendents, and transcendents will be feared and questioned by ordinary people. The internal and external troubles of the earth world are just like the invisible trend of the times. Are you going to prepare some precautionary measures? Xi Young muttered to herself, looking at the little emperor who was sleeping on the sofa roar roar next to him. The infant element eater, the sleeping venom. If you don't count the ant, it's obviously not robust enough. Xi Nian fell into thinking. No matter what, he must protect the people around him. Under this premise, even if the opponent is an old god, 
alien, extraordinary, or monster, he is fearless. Two days later, January 1st, New Year's Day. This is the first day of the 2012 New Year. The weather is fine and sunny. January was also the coldest climate in previous years, but this year, the global climate is like an imbalance, and the temperature continues to rise just after the new year. The outdoor temperature is more like autumn, and many students have taken off their heavy windbreakers and quilted jackets. At noon, a school bus, painted in conspicuous yellow, stopped at the gate of the middle school. The male instructor, holding a megaphone in his hand, stood at the school gate and shouted, all the students in our class move quickly, take their luggage, and find a seat in the car. The students filed out of the school building and boarded the school bus. Shinian, what are you still doing, get in the car. The male instructor suddenly shouted to a place. Come, Shinian hurried out of the teaching building in response, carrying his school bag. He took a trip to Kayla's classroom just now and found out that the other party did not come to class today. Since Christmas Eve, Kayla has not responded to his news, and the school has taken sick leave continuously. This is undoubtedly a bit worrying. When Xin Yen got into the car, he glanced at the thermos cup held by the male instructor, and the corner of his eyes twitched slightly. What's wrong with the cup opening of the thermos? I have to stick the back photo of his women's clothing when he hated the battle. Who can stand this? Xin Yen sighed, and as soon as he entered the school bus, he saw a seat slightly in the back row. Gwen was waving at him. Next to her, the seat that made the male and female students in the class greedy was occupied by her little school bag. Xin Yen waved his hand immediately and went to the seat next to Gwen. Sit down, ready to go. With the vigorous and powerful voice of the male instructor, Xin Yen's trip to New York will also kick off. Didi. The bus horn sounded a signal honking, and the school bus in front of the school started slowly and merged into the main road to New York City. In the car, looking at the city scene passing by on both sides, the students couldn't contain the excitement and joy, and they started talking and talking. Quiet. Dear students, please be quiet. The instructor took a young young teacher and stood on the school bus stop next to the driver's seat. He put down the thermos cup with the photo of the silver-haired goddess, and shouted at the noisy carriage with a megaphone. All the students in the school bus calmed down and looked curiously at the young teacher they had never seen before. As the monitor, Gwen obviously knew more information, and Chao Xinian whispered next to him, that is the new assistant instructor. At this time, the somewhat macho instructor grinned and said, Dear students, I believe you all know who I am. However, let me introduce myself again I am the instructor in this class, Rod Harrington. You can call me Teacher Harrington, or just call the instructor. Male instructor Rod Harrington clapped his palms enthusiastically, I am responsible for arranging all the affairs of the group outings in this class. I am both a teacher and a tour guide. Just come to me if you have anything. Don't fail. Sorry. Also, secretly tell you a secret, I am a loyal fan of the silver-haired goddess. Instructor Lot smiled. They all posted the photos directly on the thermos cup. Who doesn't know the so-called secret? However, the last joke from the instructor Roth immediately caused a burst of laughter from the students in the car, which made him break the barrier with many students and narrowed the distance. On one of the back seats, Xin Yen patted his forehead, his face looked unlovable. No need, no need. By the way, let me introduce you to you. After instructor Roth created a friendly atmosphere, he immediately patted the young man standing next to him. This is my temporary assistant and the deputy instructor of the tour activities in this class. Introduce yourself to your classmates. Instructor Roth raised his eyebrows and motioned. The young man with some beauty scumbag nodded. He stepped forward and stood where the school bus students' eyes were focused. His face suddenly became solemn and opened his hands. Hello, my name is Quentin Baker, and you can do it too. Call me a mystery guest, in fact, I am a traveler from a parallel universe. All the students in the car were stunned. Xin Yen opened his eyes wide and stared straight at the young man. No way, met fellow villagers. Snapped. Instructor Roth patted Quentin Baker on the head and explained helplessly, Everyone, forgive your deputy instructor, he is a bit, second degree sickness. Quentin Baker smiled and said, how is my acting just now? It's still pretty real. My dream when I was a kid was to be an actor, a Hollywood stuntman. 
The students looked at each other, not knowing how to respond. Don't look at him like this. Instructor Roth came out and said roundly, he was recently applying for an interview for the position of Stark Industry. Maybe soon after he finishes your job as an assistant instructor, he will join Stark Industry as a technician. History of Stark Industries. Technician. Upon hearing this, the students clapped in admiration and admiration. In the history of Stark Industries, no matter what the position is, it is the top group in the world. The most important thing is that wages are certainly not low. As for technicians, their gold content is definitely higher than that of university professorships. Xin Yen touched his nose subconsciously, and seemed to exile the big man from Stark Industry to another dimension. Although, it was in a three-in-one state. After the two instructors finished introducing themselves and got into a harmonious relationship with the students, the school bus quickly drove into the highway, and the inside of the car began to quiet down. School buses are not as fast as planes and trains, and it takes at least three or four hours to reach New York. The curtains on the windows on both sides of the car were closed, and the light and shadow in the car were immediately darkened. Many students sleep in the car with their eyes closed or play with their mobile phones. Only the sound of the school bus can be heard quietly. Xin Yan originally wanted to lie down and take a nap. At this moment, Gwen in the seat next to him approached and whispered in his ear, Remember, did we say something good the day before yesterday? The day before yesterday, Xin Yan was taken aback, and quickly remembered that Gwen wanted to compensate. What kind of compensation do you want? Let's talk about it. Xin Yan nodded happily, Ching Mei is also her own brother. When I got in the car, my ankle seemed to be twisted and it hurt a bit. Gwen blushed and whispered a little hard to speak. Just this little thing, what kind of compensation? You put your feet up, I will rub it for you. Xin Yan said directly without thinking too much. Gwen hesitation, then bit his lower lip slightly to firm up his inner thoughts. The beautiful girl with short blonde hair was sitting on the window seat. So she turned her back to the window of the car with the curtains pulled up, and reached down to take off her little black short boots. She slightly pulled the trousers of the denim shorts with her hands, raised and bent her feet, and lightly placed them on the legs of Xin Yan in the seat next to her. Xin Yan was stunned. In fact, the moment Gwen took off his boots, he realized what was wrong. Maybe it's the warmer weather. Gwen's clothes on the trip today are dress tops and denim shorts, and his feet are wrapped in warm black pantyhose. So, now as soon as Xin Yan lowers her head, she can see a pair of beautiful young girl's legs tightly wrapped in thin pantyhose. Xin Yan is not full control. But at the moment, his heart jumped suddenly, with a look of surprise in his eyes. Gwen's legs were already slender. Take a closer look now, the calf is even more straight and slender, showing a beautiful and flexible curve from the leg to the ankle. And the most beautiful part of the legs, usually even Xin Yan cannot see. It is the girl's small and exquisite feet. Wrapped in black silk with good texture, the five fingers are like shining jewels, and the curvature is not a bit out of shape, perfect as a handicraft. That's it, it's twisted. Gwen pointed to his right ankle with careful thought. I see. Xin Yan took a deep breath and calmed down. Gwen is his brother, Gwen is his brother. Xin Yan said silently, reaching out and holding Gwen's right foot without hesitation. The girl's feet are very small and his hands can directly cover everything, just like holding a warm and smooth gem. Xinian burst into air, gently holding the girl's small right foot and massaging it. Gwen's face was already blushing, and the things she proposed right now made her feel a bit too bold. And at the moment when Xinian held her feet and rubbed them up, the girl's body stiffened, and an electric shock came from her feet. Wait, wait, Gwen bit his lip tightly and almost couldn't help jumping directly from the seat. Popular science is an animal knowledge. The spider's feet are the most sensitive. Because there are sensitive vibration receptors on the thighs, allowing spiders to detect any slight movement from the cobweb under their feet. Kang Dang. The school bus suddenly violently awoke many students, and the driver's sorry voice came. Excuse me, classmates, the speed is too fast. Inside a yellow school bus driving at high speed. Gwen, have you been doing any sports lately? For example, yoga. Xin Yan asked curiously while gently rubbing Gwen's very comfortable feet. The small and exquisite feet in his hands are almost soft and boneless, but the five fingers are separated by the faintly bright flesh-colored black silk, 
and you can clearly feel that every time the palm is pressed, the other's feet will rebound with subtle muscle tenacity, like it is self-instinct to resist the violation of the palm. Yes. Gwen bit his lower lip tightly and made a response as subtle as a mosquito. When did you do it? Xin Yen asked in confusion, and began to massage her delicate ankle with her fingers. He usually goes to school with Gwen on weekdays, but he didn't see Gwen particularly involved in any intramural sports. Wu. Gwen whispered subconsciously. On the roof, no, just occasionally do aerobics in the bedroom at home. Is it this way? Xinian didn't think much, and he didn't have the spare time to think too much. Now most of his attention was on Gwen's perfectly small left foot. This is even more comfortable than the feel of Lu Xiaohuangxi. While Xin Yan was in a daze, the original rubbing action on his hand was replaced by a stroke unconsciously. The broad palms enveloped the entire pliable white foot, and then slid up along the fine quality black silk. Xin Yan's five fingers greedily stretched out, feeling the exquisiteness from the fingertips. Silky. Woo. The feeling and stimulation at this time far exceeded the previous sum. The girl's body was struck by lightning, her eyes shone with crystal clear water, her small mouth with sharp tiger teeth opened, and she bit down on Xin Yan's shoulder. Xin Yan was in pain, and then he reacted and quickly let go of Gwen's little feet. Wu, Gwen bit Xin Yan and suppressed the sound that he had nearly yelled just now. Xin Yan smiled bitterly and let her bite. The school bus driving at an average speed was still quiet, and no one noticed this scene. After a long time, Gwen let go, and then dropped his legs, with a shameful face, pretending to sit on the seat as if nothing had happened. I'm sorry, Gwen, I didn't mean it. Xin Yan looked at the girl apologetically, but didn't explain too much. It's impossible to say that she was a little emperor by mistake, right? Gwen did not respond, nor did he look at Xin Yan, calmly stretched out a finger to signal. Xin Yan knew what she meant, and secretly breathed a sigh of relief. I owe you a compensation, right? No problem. As long as it is not rubbing the legs. It's not that the brothers are not strong, but they can't stand it anymore. Xin Yan felt that if she continued to rub it, she might suddenly awakening some strange hobby. Your shoulder is okay. Gwen was angry for only three seconds, then looked at Xin Yan's shoulder anxiously, and took out a tissue to wipe off the wetness on it. It's okay, I have thick skin. Xin Yan glanced at his shoulder. In fact, Gwen didn't bite too much, only a tooth mark was left on the jacket, not even the flesh underneath. Otherwise, it may trigger the Lord of the Dependents again. However, Gwen is just an ordinary person, even if it is triggered, it shouldn't cause any trouble. Xinian, what are you wearing on your left hand? Gwen seemed to have forgotten the embarrassment just now, and returned to that calm and intellectual cold young lady, looking down at Xin Yan's left hand. Ah, you mean this. Xin Yan only noticed that the long sleeve of his left hand was pulled up a bit, revealing the silver bracelet on the front of his arm. Its artifact named, Guardian Silver Bracelet. The Guardian Silver Bracelet is made of debris from the Aegis Shield and can resist all physical and magical attacks. When the arms are crossed, it can produce a powerful shield barrier and shockwave. Even the Aunt Diana, who is covered in god costumes, ranks the Guardian Silver Bracelet only in the Sword of Vulcan. Definitely, the Guardian Silver Bracelet is a combined pair. In the case of only one, its power will obviously be greatly reduced. But because of this, even in a human body, he can barely use the basic ability of this half artifact. This is the lucky thing my aunt gave me, and I used it for self-defense outside. Xin Yan smiled, pulling up his sleeve to cover the single guardian silver bracelet. Lucky item, Gwen whispered softly. Somehow, she always felt that the strange silver bracelet seemed to have seen it somewhere. New York, Manhattan. When the school bus arrived at the bustling urban area of the destination, it was almost evening, and the warm sunset fell on the high-rise buildings, and neon lights were also lit up everywhere on the ground. Rod instructor and mystery assistant arranged a group dinner in a restaurant, and then took the students to check in in a residential apartment. When Xin Yan carried his school bag into his own small single room, the setting sun outside the window had completely disappeared, and the dark night began to shroud the sky over the city that never sleeps. The first day I arrived in New York, it was almost over before it started. In the evening, it is free time, and students can go out for activities. 
However, it is limited to the nearby streets, and must return to the apartment before 2200, and the instructor will check the bed at that time. Until tomorrow, the instructor will formally organize group play activities. Xin Yen sat on the single bed in the room, and just took out his mobile phone to send a message to her aunt about her safe arrival in New York, and there was a knock on the door. Xin Yen opened the door to see who was not Gwen. However, the at the moment girl had already taken a bath, her short blonde hair had not yet been completely dried, and she had changed into a set of intellectual and swift dress uniforms. After Xin Yen opened the door, Gwen folded his arms and said, Go out with me to buy clothes. This is the compensation I want. Didn't you bring enough clothes? Xin Yen scratched his head. Not yet. Gwen stopped in the middle of speaking, glared at him angrily, then turned and walked downstairs. Xin Yen didn't know why, but still picked up the phone and house key, and walked out the door. The bustling pedestrian street. Xin Yen followed Gwen around several clothing shops, and Gwen chose a small skirt that he liked. Classmate Xin Yen seemed to have finally realized it once and paid the bill with his pocket money for half a month in advance. The effect is naturally significant. Seeing Gwen holding the bags with skirts along the way, he was obviously not angry, and Xin Yen also smiled. Only, Xin Yen and Gwen, who were just buying their clothes, returned to the apartment and walked to a relatively remote residential area. Accompanied by intense panting and the sound of striding, a silver-haired boy with goggles on his forehead approached from behind. The silver-haired boy suddenly concealed a women's purse into Gwen, and immediately pretended to hold the purse, panting and rushing in the other direction. Xin Yen and Gwen didn't know what was going on, they saw a big cheeky man rushing past, catching up with the silver-haired boy who had not run out of the current road. Child, where's my bag? The big cheeky man grabbed the boy's shoulder angrily. That's not yours, you rob others. The silver-haired boy retorted stubbornly. Really? The big man with his cheeks was furious, he immediately pulled the silver-haired boy by the collar with one hand, and forcibly dragged him into a dark alley without road monitoring. Xinian, take this. Gwen saw this, stuffed the clothes and bag to Xinian, and hurried to the alley. Looking at the things in his hand, Xinian followed without hesitation. Inside a dark, unmonitored alley alley. The big cheeky man dragged the silver-haired boy into here, his big rough hand suddenly pinched his neck, and forcibly pressed the boy's young body against the wall. As the big hand moved up a little bit, the boy's feet began to separate from the ground, struggling violently, and his hands continued to pull the big hand, but the strength of the adult strong man and the 13-year-old boy was still too far apart. If you don't hand it over, I'll pinch you to death. The big cheeky man whispered hoarsely. Bad. Badass, the silver-haired boy whimpered. You are really looking for death. A sharp look flashed in the eyes of the big cheeky man, just as he was going to teach the boy a profound lesson, a beautiful figure suddenly appeared at the entrance of the alley where he was. Let me let him go. The short-haired girl looked at him coldly, shouting like a policeman. Oh, here comes another girl. Seeing the girl's exquisite and beautiful face, and the youthful and graceful figure, a strong desire emerged in the eyes of the cheeky man. But before he could look more, a black-haired boy also walked into the alley. He stood in front of the girl's body, intentionally blocking the sight of the big man. This is what you want, give it to you, let him go. Facing the big man, Xin Yen showed the women's purse in his hand. That's right, the big cheeky man spit out viciously let go of his big hand, and let the panting silver-haired boy sit on the ground. Xinian, why are you here too? Gwen gently lay behind Xinian, the girl did not panic, but felt a warm feeling. It's impossible for you to face this situation as a girl. Xinian turned her head, whispered, and gave her a relieved look. Give me. The tall and strong man with cheeks, Chao Xinian, walked up to him, just glanced at the women's purse, his gaze was still cast on Gwen behind him. Take it away. Xin Yan looked calm and held the women's purse with her right hand to her chest. Standing behind Xin Yan, Gwen squinted her eyes and raised her right wrist slightly. Even if she would expose her ability later, she would not allow others to hurt Xin Yan. The big cheeky man came to Xin Yan and subconsciously stretched out his hand to take it. Unexpectedly, Xin Yan suddenly released his hand. The big man's attention followed the bag and fell to the ground at the same time. Xin Yan moved suddenly. He flew up and kicked the opponent's lower abdomen fiercely. 
It should be said that the special training for the few days on Paradise Island finally came in handy at this time. The lower abdomen hit the young man with a full kick, the big man on the cheek snorted painfully, holding his belly in his hands and fell down. If Xin Yen doesn't make a move, once he makes a move before the opponent loses combat ability, he won't stop. Xin Yen decisively stepped on both feet, and landed on the palms and fingers of the big man with cheeks, causing the other party to be so painful that they couldn't even hold their fists. Xin Yen thought for a while, and then added a kick to the opponent's stomach, and the guy who kicked his cheeks would spit out the bile. Complete all this simply and rudely. Xin Yen knelt down and quickly fumbled the opponent's pockets and trouser pockets. After confirming that the opponent did not carry a gun, he stepped over the big guy who fell on the ground and groaned and grabbed the silver-haired boy's hand. Quickly leave with me, here. The silver-haired boy's eyes were brilliant all the time, and he immediately nodded obediently and said, Okay, brother. Gwen, let's go. Xinian took the silver-haired boy, picked up the women's bag on the ground, and was about to leave here with Gwen. Before the three of Xinian walked out of the alley, they were forced to retreat. Outside the hutong, more than a dozen young men with high-quality hair dyes and tattooed men, at first glance, are the kind of people who are not easy to mess with in the dark of the city. They are like a human wall into a narrow alley. Oh, isn't this Jackson? I haven't seen it for a long time, so I pulled it. I actually overturned the car in the hands of a few children. A young man with dyed hair glanced at the big cheeky man on the ground and said jokingly. Bah, that kid, a bit cruel. Don't let him go off. One, two, three, eleven people. Xin Yen protected the Gwen and the silver-haired boy behind him, and retreated to the deepest wall in the dead end. He glanced, his gaze fell on a long wooden plank on the ground, quickly lowered his body, took a copy with his right hand, and grasped the long wooden plank like a sword in his hand. With the plank in hand, Xin Yen had a little bit of confidence. But just relying on the swordsmanship practiced on Paradise Island, with the body of an ordinary human being at the moment, it is still too reluctant to fight against the eleven ruthless characters in the mixed society. Do you use artifacts? Xin Yen thought of the guardian silver bracelet on his left hand, which contained a part of the divine power sealed by her aunt. If it was used, it would undoubtedly resolve this crisis easily. However, it is very easy to kill humans with weapons of this level of artifacts. It's hard to use until the last minute. Without knowing that he had already walked on the edge of death, the eleven characters from the chaotic society pushed forward. Just when Gwen couldn't help revealing his secrets and shot with the female Spider-Man's ability. Beside, Xin Yen suddenly whispered, Gwen, give me a kiss. Hey. Gwen was dumbfounded. Hurry up. Otherwise, I will kiss you. Xin Yen said in a deep voice. What he thought was that even though Gwen was just an ordinary person, it would be good to be able to add a little physical strength now. I, I. Gwen blushed, just when she made up her mind and was about to kiss Xin Yen. On the field, something changed. The boss is coming. Someone suddenly yelled that the eleven social gangsters surrounded by the alley, together with the big-cheeked man lying on the ground and vomiting bile, suddenly stood neatly against the walls on both sides, leaving a spacious and unobstructed one. The way out. With compliments and enthusiasm on their faces, they watched the direction of the entrance of the alley outside, bowed their heads one after another, and shouted in unison, Boss. Boss. Xin Yen frowned and looked forward with the silver-haired boy and Gwen, and soon the three of them were stunned. I saw the entrance of the alley. A girl with green hair, only 12 or 13 years old, walked in calmly. The green-haired girl, lowly is right, I don't know if it was born or died, green long hair fell over his shoulders at random, and his face was exquisite like a doll with heavy smoky makeup. From the looks of it, he looked much older than his own age. The young and exquisite lowly is wearing a suspender, a pair of ultra-short hot pants wrapped around his immature buttocks, and two slender legs are wrapped in colorful pantyhose. The green-haired boss, Loli, appeared in front of Xin Yen and his party so aggressively. Boss, they, the cheeky man wanted to say something. Shut up. Green-haired Loli glanced at him coldly, his voice was crisp and cold, and the big cheek man, who was twice as tall, covered his mouth in silence. Lufa Loli did not stop, walked into the alley, and came to Xin Yen's group all the time. 
Green-haired Loli's eyes are big, with a layer of indifference-like eyes, and he glances at the three of Xin Yan. Her gaze paused for a while on the silver-haired boy, and quickly moved away casually, and finally fell on Xin Yan who deliberately protected the silver-haired boy and Gwen. Tread. Green-haired Loli raised one foot high, almost splitting a leg, but his height was limited and his legs were a bit shorter after all, so he could barely step on the wall next to Xin Yan's elbow. What's your name? Green-haired Loli's face approached, and he slammed Xin Yan with his feet, and asked with interest. Xin Yan. Xin Yan and her looked at each other. You remembered it. Green-haired Loli grinned wildly. My name is Lorna. I am optimistic about you, be my little brother. This is a very strange scene. In the alley shrouded by night, twelve tall and sturdy social workers stood obediently on both sides of the wall, and the leader was a green-haired girl who was only twelve or thirteen years old. No matter the green-haired girl has a delicate and tender face, or the cute and small body of Loli, they are far from the status of the boss of the society, except for the smoky dress of the society that is too mature on the face. But looking at the frenzied green-haired girl at the moment, a look of intolerance flashed in Xin Yan's eyes. The stronger the status and identity of the other party, the more it represents that the girl must have suffered a lot. She must be stronger and harder than her peers in order to live without being bullied. Hey, do you hear me? Do you want to be my little brother? Lorna slammed Xin Yan face to face with her feet, but she hadn't finished her words yet. Xin Yan suddenly put her hand on her head, in the green a light touch on the hair. Exclamation mark exclamation mark exclamation mark. This scene stunned everyone on the court. In particular, the twelve social workers who dyed their hair and tattooed their eyes widened in surprise. Many people inhaled air conditioning and continued chanting, it's over, that kid is dead. Lorna paused first, but didn't seem to react. Then, the girl slammed her hand off her head, retracted her foot on the wall, took a step back, and stared at Xin Yan coldly, what are you doing? Well, there is dust on your head. Xin Yan could not naturally say that it was a subconscious action, a kind of pity from the heart. Speaking out, you will definitely be beaten. Oh, it turned out to be like this. Hearing Xin Yan's explanation, Lorna nodded suddenly. A group of social workers. Hey, boss, you won't really believe it, do you? They, who are familiar with Lorna's daily behavior, chose to be silent. Just now, if any one of them dared to touch the girl's head like that, the whole arm would have been destroyed long ago. Obviously, people are treated differently. Xin Yan did not regard the girl as the boss of the society, and said bluntly, sorry. I can't be your little brother, and I don't have that intention. The hearts of a group of social workers became tense again. Unexpectedly, the boss Lorna was also not angry, but took the initiative to get away from her body. The green-haired girl leaned on one of the walls and waved her hand at random to the group of Xin Yan who was enclosed, in this case, then you go. You want to let us go. Xin Yan was a little surprised. If you don't go, do you want me to invite you to have supper? Lorna snorted coldly. Boss. Seeing that Lorna was really planning to let the three of Xin Yan go, the cheeky man who had been beaten just now became anxious and shouted unwillingly. Get out of the way and let them get out of here. Lorna said coldly, immediately deterring the crowd. Let's go. Xin Yan took the hands of Gwen and the silver-haired boy, and walked cautiously to the entrance of the alley. Under the awe of the green-haired girl Lorna, no one dared to take action. They could only watch Xin Yan and the others walk out of the alley and disappear on the streets and highways outside. After Xin Yan and his party walked away, they were in the alley. Lorna suddenly said coldly, who asked you to grab something? He beat a child. Papta. The big cheeky man knelt on the ground, his face was bloodless and panicked. Boss, I was wrong, I shouldn't. His words stopped abruptly. As if his throat was firmly strangled by an invisible big hand. The big cheeky man was constantly struggling to wave his limbs, and the whole person was floating upwards inch by inch, exactly the same as when he was holding the silver-haired boy just now. A powerful and extraordinary power is coming back. No one dared to speak to the other eleven people, watching with a chilling back as the man with cheeks lifted off the ground and floated in the midair two meters high. In the depths of the alley, green light shines. Lorna's small body is still leaning against the wall. Her green hair is voluntarily raised frantically, and the hands that are raised are embodied in glowing green light lingering freely. Ten seconds later, the big man with cheeks lay like a dead dog in the alley, 
panting heavily, tears, nasal mucus, and saliva flowing all over the place. There is no next time. Lorna's childish and cold voice sounded. Yes, boss. Everyone responded quickly with cold sweat. Shinian took Gwen and the silver-haired boy and jogged out quickly until they ran out of the previous street and came to a relatively bustling area, and stopped when they confirmed that no one was chasing them. The crisis can be considered lifted. When Xin Yan was about to say something, he saw the silver-haired boy looking at him with longing in his eyes, and admired, Big brother, you were really amazing just now. In two seconds, I knocked down that bad guy. What's great, I almost confessed there. Xin Yan gave a wry smile. Little friend, you are really good, dare to provoke such a big guy. Gwen reprimanded as a big sister. Huh, I ran too slow, otherwise, he would definitely not be able to catch up with me. The silver-haired boy was obviously not convinced, and said angrily, also, whoever asked him to grab something from someone else, I just helped someone else get things back. He pushed the slanted windshield goggles on his head and smiled happily at the women's purse. Not bad, when you grow up, you must run faster than him. Gwen encouraged. That's definitely. The silver-haired boy patted his chest confidently, then took another look at Xin Yan, and suddenly remembered some self-introduction and said, Big brother, my name is Pete Jonj Maximov. Pete, right. Xin Yan said that he knew it, and touched his fluffy silver hair and said, It's already late. Don't go shopping by yourself. Go home. I will pass the bag to the local police station. Okay. Pete handed the women's purse to Xin Yan, then suddenly pulled Heenian aside, and while shoving a piece of paper to him, he whispered mysteriously, Big brother, I will introduce my sister to you. Knowing, definitely better than the one next to you. This. Xin Yan was stunned. Oh. Pete had a sudden pain, but Gwen walked forward with a smile, pinched his ear with his hand, stared and said, My kid, what are you talking about? No, no, nothing. While talking, Pete suddenly broke free of Gwen's hand and ran away along the street. Halfway, he didn't forget to turn his head and wave his hand, brother, remember. My sister is great. Are the kids so precocious now? Gwen grinded his tiger teeth slightly, and gritted his teeth a bit, saying, I knew I wouldn't save him. It's just a kid. Xin Yan couldn't help but smile, and glanced down at the piece of paper in his hand, which had a detailed address and phone number written on it. Gwen had an inexplicable ominous premonition, just like when he saw Kayla at first, he couldn't help but said, Xinian, you don't really intend to meet the sister he said. How can it be? Xin Yan shook his head and put the piece of paper presented by Pete in his pocket. Under the neon lights, a slim girl, about 13 years old, stood at the intersection and waited. If Xin Yan was present, he would definitely find that the girl was similar to the green-haired girl boss he had just met. It's just that the girl who is standing waiting for something now has a gorgeous red hair with her waist-length hair. The girl's face is as delicate and beautiful as a doll, but not to mention the smoky makeup, not even a bit of lipstick or eye makeup, and the face is as clean as freshly peeled white tender flesh. The red-haired girl is also wearing an ordinary school skirt, looking elegant and calm, and she has the embryonic form of a beautiful woman at a young age. Wanda, at this time, with a cry from far away. Pete with silver hair waving his arms, quickly ran to the red-haired girl from far to near. Wanda didn't say much, just looked at Pete calmly. Pete, who was not afraid of any situation before and dared to fight with society, immediately fell like a roasted eggplant when he saw his sister's eyes. It seemed that Pete was on his brother's side. Obviously I was born 12 minutes early. Pete was dissatisfied, and was about to stand up. What's the trouble again? Just listen, Wanda asked softly. Pete shook his head violently, and replied staggeringly, No, no trouble. Go home first. Wanda turned around and headed straight back to a street. Pete quickly followed, and on the way home, he told Wanda about what had just happened. Definitely, omitted the episode that he said to introduce, sister, to Xin Yan. Wanda pondered for a moment, and pondered, is that right? I still have to thank some people in person if I have a chance in the future. After all, saving you takes a lot of risks. There is a chance. Pete smiled. I gave him the address of our home. All right. Wanda nodded lightly, and returned to the three-story house with lights in the house with Pete. The twins did not notice that when the two of them entered the house, 
On the corner of the street not far away, a touch of green figure leaned against the wall. With the door closed, through the shadow of the window of the house, you can vaguely see the reunion of the family of four inside. The green figure continued to stand there for a while before turning around and hiding into the night alone. After Shinian and Gwen went to the police station and handed over the women's bag, the two almost stepped back to the apartment, just in time for the instructor to check the bed. Shinian couldn't help but breathe out, what happened tonight was nothing short of surprises. Next, there are still two days of travel and vacation time, should there be no more accidents. People, it's impossible to be so unlucky every time. Xin Yan thought, but what he didn't expect was. At the same time, great changes took place on the other side of New York City. New York City, Cathedral. Inside the church with colorful murals and magnificent atmosphere, the lights are bright, and the pure music of cello plays peacefully. Many celebrities are in the main hall, enjoying the sacred and peaceful atmosphere here. However, this tranquility and sacredness will soon be directly broken. Kang Dang. Holding a strong and strong suit man in one hand, the evil black-haired young man ignored anyone in the hall and treated the man in the suit as a pig, violently smashed it on the table in the center of the hall, and then took out the unknown the black technology instrument robbed the opponent's eye pupils. In the chaos and screams at the scene, the evil young man looked as usual, holding a metal scepter with a gloomy blue light at the top, and pacing out to the church door unhurriedly. As he walked, the dazzling golden light appeared on the evil charm young man. The original suit uniform on his body was replaced by the golden armor with domineering double horns, and the dark green cloak fell down. Holding a scepter, wearing a god armor, the evil young man walked out facing the gazes of hundreds of people outside the church, seeming to feel that it was too noisy outside. He raised the metal scepter casually, accompanied by a scorching energy cannonball flying out and blasted a police car driving on the road with a whistle. Go out. Kneel down to me. Shang, the god who will dominate you. The evil young man opened his hands and showed an evil smile, as if he had announced. The next morning. This is also the second day of the new year after New Year's Day, and it is the trial day of Superman by the Metropolitan Court. New York City. The weather is still sunny and bright, and the city is still peaceful. Early in the morning, the instructor Roth and the deputy instructor Mystic Guest organized the students to visit the Statue of Liberty on the Hudson Liberty Island. The Statue of Liberty is undoubtedly the number one must-see attraction in New York. In addition to the two major parks on the lower island of the island, the student team can spend the entire morning. Wait until noon. The instructor took the students back to Manhattan and headed to the most prosperous and modern Times Square. The school bus is parked in the parking space in front of the shopping mall. In the morning, the female students who were screaming with tired feet were immediately excited under the strong desire to shop, and began to divide into small teams to stroll around the street. Our Xin Yen classmate chose to sit in the lounge chair on the fourth floor of the mall. Xin Yen looked at the students scattered in the cosmetics, clothes, games and other shops not far away, then looked at Gwen who was sitting quietly next to the chair and curiously said, don't you want to look at the clothes again? I still have physical strength. I walked with you. No need. Gwen gently shook his head, pulled up the blonde hair in his ear, and smiled, it's enough to have the one you bought last night. Is it? Xin Yen's heart suddenly jumped in despair. He looked at the graceful profile of Gwen's face nearby, and suddenly found that the girl who grew up with her, now really looks more and more beautiful and beautiful. Yes. Sometimes, things that have been accustomed to, inadvertently, will see the other side of it. At this moment, Xin Yen suddenly realized why Officer George was so hostile to him. But, when you realize this, can you just treat Gwen as a good brother? Xin Yen was thinking of this, when suddenly, he saw Gwen shudder. Gwen's hair stood up, his pupils contracted slightly, and he looked out of the shopping mall window inexplicably. On the highway in front of the mall. The cars all stopped, and the driver and passers-by on the street looked up to the sky, their faces dull, and boundless fear enveloped their hearts. What is that? Many students and customers standing next to the mall window also looked up in surprise and pointed at the sky outside. Xin Yen and Gwen looked at each other, got up quickly, and came to the floor-to-ceiling windows of the mall. What catches Xin Yen's eyes is a huge amount of blue beam of light. 
The blue beam of light glowed from the top of the iconic building of Stark Industrial Headquarters, straight up. It has been submerged in the sky of 10,000 meters above New York City, and in the blue sky blueprint, tore open a dark and terrible gap. From the abyss of the sky supported by the blue beam of light, countless unknown small black objects filed out, densely descending on the city area below. Among them, dozens of flights black spots came straight to Times Square. New York the most prosperous modern urban area. Huge amounts of blue beams of light rose up into the sky, forcibly tore open the sky to a black hole that looked like an abyss, and from the darkness that seemed to lead to the deepest part of the universe, dense flight objects were continuously spewing out. Boom boom boom. The sound of explosions resounded everywhere like the thunder of a large storm, and the unknown horror came to this city unsuspectingly. Hum. Dozens of mysterious black spots are rapidly approaching Times Square, and one of them is the shopping mall building where Xin Yan is located. Xin Yan opened his eyes wide in surprise, and the mysterious black spot became larger and larger in his eyes from far to near. Close to the last half a kilometer distance, you can see that it is a flight that resembles a sea motorcycle. Although the tall existence driving the flight machine can't see clearly, it is definitely not a human being. The whole body surface reflects the cold metal luster in the sun. The unknown flight machine has not completely entered the sky above the pedestrian street. A dazzling red flame is launched from the front, dragging the terrifying tail flame and rushing to the building first. Careful. Xin Yen's reaction was fairly quick, and he immediately hugged Ching Mei Gwen on the side and slammed back to the ground. At the same time, Powerful and terrible explosive airwaves and shockwave energy erupted on the outer wall between the third and fourth floors of the building. The windows of the floors were instantly shattered, and there was also the seemingly hard reinforced concrete outside. The wall, and the floor on the edge of the fourth floor, collapsed rumblingly. Bang! The airwave carried the broken building fragments into the interior, and the flames began to burn in the huge amounts of holes on the front of the building, and thick black smoke quickly filled the interior space of the mall. Ahem, Gwen, are you okay? Tinnitus, Xin Yan, who was lying on the ground, coughed a few times, and the floor near him had fallen and collapsed, making him seem to be on the edge of a cliff. However, these can no longer be taken care of. Just now. When Xin Yan threw Gwen to the ground, the girl in her arms suddenly twisted her body, which in turn acted as a physical shield, protecting Xin Yan's back with her soft body. So Xin Yan himself was not injured. He got up anxiously and looked around, the heavy gunpowder smoke could only see things within two meters, and he couldn't see Gwen in his sight. No way. Xin Yan's heart twitched fiercely. Step on. At this moment, a tall figure jumped in from the outside of the shopping mall building, and landed on the floor of the fourth floor not far from Xin Yan, making a heavy metal sound. In the smoke of gunpowder, two unsentimental red pupils first appeared, and then a nearly two meter high, metal-shaped robotic creature walked out of it, holding a handful of energy guns that were not characteristic of Earth civilization. Its eyes keep turning and scanning, like a human being locked in a shopping mall with a killing weapon. You guy. Xin Yan's eyes were reddish, and he immediately rushed to the alien robot. His left hand was clenched into a fist, and the silver bracelet guarding the divine artifact hidden by his sleeves was hot red, conforming to the anger of the little master and reviving awakening. But the action of a figure is faster than Xin Yan. Seeing that the alien robot and Xin Yan are about to meet each other, the short blonde hair and uniform skirt are hunting, the girl forcibly inserted between Xin Yan and the alien robot, and reached out to grab the metal arm of the alien robot. Bang! The girl in her early 60s threw her opponent to the ground with a single over-shoulder fall, and her strength caused obvious cracks to bloom on the floor. She leapt up two meters quickly and vigorously, and while her body fell down, her white and tender fists violently hit the alien robot's face. Click. The mechanical head created by the entire circuit, parts, chips, etc. burst open with the chaotic electric current and sparkling sparks. Gwen. Xin Yan stared at the current girl in a daze. The force of this punch, I'm afraid it will go up in the upper ton level. Is this Gwen? Was it the green plum who had to twist the cap of the drink bottle occasionally? Is that a lie? Xin Yan was still in a daze, and Gwen, who had solved an alien robot, took his hand and got into the smoke-filled shopping mall. Inside and outside the shopping mall building was screaming and wailing, turning into a tragic scene of purgatory on earth.
Obviously more than one alien invaded, and the area on the square alone was tens of hundreds. Gwen pulled Xin Yen into an unmanned clothes shop, quickly found a dressing room, and took Xin Yen into the isolated dressing room in a narrow space. Gwen opened the backpack he had been carrying with him. After opening the dark layer of the backpack, as Xin Yen had expected, there was a tight-fitting spider uniform that was very familiar and intersected in black and white. It turned out that the female Spider-Man that night was Gwen. Xin Yen understood everything, but before he could speak, Gwen suddenly grabbed the hem of his uniform with both hands and lifted it up and took it off. The figure of the girl's upper body is uneven, from the soft white neck down to the belly with the waistcoat line, showing graceful and strong muscle lines. The most important thing is that the girl did not wear any other clothes, and the white and slender body was almost completely visible. Wrong. Xin Yen also saw two ordinary band-aids, but the band-aids not only didn't cover anything, on the contrary, Gwen, who had already developed well, revealed a color that he had never seen before. What a bosom brother. Don't turn around yet. Just about to take off the rest of the skirt, Gwen suddenly reacted, glaring at Xin Yen blushingly, biting his lip and said. Well, this is even more impressive. Xin Yen turned around without hesitation, and the current situation is indeed not the time to appreciate. There was a rustling sound behind him, and soon Gwen signaled that he had been replaced. Xin Yen looked back, and it was not the female Spider-Man that appeared before him on the roof of the building. In the future, I will explain everything to you. Now, I will take you first, and the people here will evacuate out. After putting on the female spider uniform battle suit, Gwen's voice changed a little, and he appeared capable and direct. People have a sense of reliability and conviction. Good. Xin Yen had no objection. Classmates, all gather together, don't run around. In a corner of the mall building, Instructor Lot and Assistant Mystery, although they were equally frightened, they still managed to protect most of the students. Step on. The red electronic pupils flickered in the smoke of gunpowder, and an alien robot scanned them and found them, and immediately sprinted over here. Before it approached, it fired continuously, and several stabbing lasers shattered the stone pillars and guardrails blocking the front. The students screamed back, but quickly turned their backs to a wall. The mysterious guest gritted his teeth, and together with Instructor Lot, firmly pushed his body in front of the students. At the moment, two white cobwebs shot out from the area behind the alien robot, sticking to the metal arms of the alien robot. Pulled by the powerful force, the alien robot was thrown out of the building like a retreat. With a, shoo, the female Spider-Man jumped down in front of the instructor and students, waved roar and shouted, everyone, follow me. Xin Yen picked up the energy gun that the alien robot had taken off from the ground and merged it into the group of students. Go, let's get out of here quickly. Instructor Roth thought he was dead, and he regained his senses when he heard the voice and exclaimed with joy. Under the protection of the female Spider-Man, the instructor and students smoothly walked out of the mall building and came to the pedestrian street outside. Xin Yen looked around, and the conditions on the city streets outside were worse than in the mall just now. The school bus that was parked at the entrance of the mall had long been scrapped, and the collapsed building was crushed into a pile of scrap iron. A series of vehicles involved in a series of car accidents blocked the blockage of the main road. In the streets and alleys, the invasion of alien machinery is coming, the wanton killings and bombings, the crying and screaming of human beings ups and downs, and the entire New York center is completely chaotic. At the moment, it's like the end. That is, in the chaotic scene of the moment, Xin Yan saw a familiar tall figure on the roof of a car. The young man wore his exclusive blue tight-fitting uniform, his hips were a little raised, and he wore a pentagram buckler on his left hand. Different from the common toys on the market, no matter the metal texture of this buckler or the non-physical trajectory that it throws out and hits an alien robot and then reverts back, it means that it is that one. A genuine product with a certain historical significance. Captain. Xin Yen was moved, and there is now more than one superhero in New York City. Captain America Steve Rogers also saw Xin Yen. He jumped off the car and quickly said to the students in Xin Yen, this is very dangerous. Get out of here. Where is it safe now? Instructor Roth asked anxiously. Captain America wore a helmet with half of his face exposed, with a serious and not optimistic expression. As long as it is not safe in New York, you should leave the city center area along the road first. 
The outer city area should now be departments have already arranged for citizens to evacuate out of the city. Is the situation so pessimistic? Xin Yan frowned, listening to Captain America's words, there is even the possibility of the entire New York City falling. But it is. Xin Yan raised his eyes solemnly and looked at the blue beam of light rushing into the sky in the distance. The dark abyss was getting bigger and bigger, and the sky above the city area near the Stark Industrial Headquarters was almost black. Deafening thunders resounded in the area from time to time, and the thunder and lightning that blasted down on a sunny day directly smashed the flight's alien flight device into a large area. Obviously, there are other unknown superheroes blocking the alien invasion. Now that the alien machinery forces invaded New York, the superhero stationed here can barely cope with it, but as long as the opening cannot be closed, the number of alien machinery will constantly increase exponentially. This is the second and still large-scale alien invasion in the modern history of mankind. Xin Yan gave the energy guns he picked up to the instructor for use. One was that he had never learned to shoot, and the other was that he had an artifact guardian silver bracelet in his hand, which was much easier to use than alien energy guns. With the confrontation between the superhero of New York and the alien forces, coupled with the secret protection of the female Spider-Man, Xin Yan, a group of students in the class, and the instructor evacuated the central city that was reduced to war. Exit 10 kilometers away. The city has not yet been invaded by alien forces. A large number of policemen are struggling to maintain traffic on the roadside. The main road is full of vehicles and pedestrians. They carry large bags of luggage and continue along the road out of the city. Evacuate outside of New York City. Instructor Roth had an energy gun hanging on his chest, and said to his assistants and a group of students, Baker, you take the students here and continue to evacuate outside the city. Roth, you want to stay. The mysterious guest Baker was surprised. Instructor Roth said firmly, there are also some students who have just dispersed from the large army and stayed in the city. As an instructor, I must stay here to find them and take them out. Okay. Baker sighed when he saw that he had decided, and stopped persuading him. Wait, where's classmate Xin Yan? Baker glanced at the surrounding students, surprised. I don't know, just now, it was still here. The students looked at each other. Outer city, in an alley not far from the main road. Xin Yan entered here alone, and as the shadow on the wall flickered, she saw the female Spider-Man hanging upside down on the white cobweb, landing upside down to a low altitude of 2 meters. You still want to go back to the city war, don't you? Xin Yan asked, looking at the female Spider-Man. The female Spider-Man nodded and said softly, There are still many people there, and there is no time to evacuate. I knew it. Xin Yan was not surprised by this. It's not just Gwen who originally followed police officer George's temperament and hated him. Even when facing hatred, she still chose to fight as a female Spider-Man. Now, the female Spider-Man will naturally not back down. Then you go and do what you want to do. Xin Yan thought for a while and said with encouragement. But, the previously determined and calm female Spider-Man suddenly appeared hesitation at this moment. You are worried about me. Xin Yan said helplessly. If it were the usual Gwen, she would definitely deny Sunere, but now she is not Gwen, but a female Spider-Man Gwen. So she said firmly, yes. Then I'll tell you a secret too. Xin Yan smiled, he suddenly stretched his hand forward, slightly opened the female Spider-Man's mask, and pulled it up to the position of the tall nose of the other party. What appeared in front of Xin Yan's eyes was an upside down, small and exquisite girl's half face. Half of the girl's face, half of the spider hood. What's the secret? The female Spider-Man asked curiously. Before she could finish her words, Xin Yan leaned forward and gently kissed the corner of the girl's lips. But this seems to be unable to meet the conditions of ability triggering. After all, there is no medium. Xin Yan paused. Just when he was hesitation, the female Spider-Man's lips opened slightly, like a little dessert that he was allowed to taste. There is nothing good about hesitation. Xin Yan adjusted the position of her mouth covered the girl's two tender petals, and asked for the medium needed by ability. Shouldn't Gwen deserve to be a female Spider-Man? Not only is the body flexible on the outside, but on the inside, it is also not decent. Xin Yan felt that he was tasting the most precious and soft sandwich jelly. At the same time, his body began to undergo subtle changes. 
The pupils of both eyes shrank slightly. The whole body's cold hair is keenly erected, carefully perceiving everything around him. The tough biceps and abdominal muscles that bodybuilders can't have, all appear on the body one by one. Huh. Female Spider-Man Gwen widened her eyes and stared at Xin Yen in disbelief. She could even feel Xin Yen's changes. After all, at this moment, her spider telepathy broke out violently. The female Spider-Man's physique is telling her that the person in front of her is her own kind. There is nothing to worry about, right? Lips, Xin Yen who got super spider ability said. Oh. Dot did you get bitten by a spider too? The spider Gwen, whose body was hung upside down in the low air, was amazed. He stared at Xin Yen who had the super spider ability in front of him, and ignored the sudden kiss of Xin Yen. Xin Yen spread his hands, this is my hidden ability. Through the contact with you just now, I have your ability for a short time. He paused and continued, remember the person you met on the rooftop last week? That's me. You are the pervert. The female Spider-Man was shocked, Roar blurted out, and then she reacted as if she pressed her small mouth, blushing, and said, so, you can get the strength of the other person by kissing the girl. Um, how do you say it, it's almost like this. Xin Yan has a guilty conscience, so naturally he can't tell the truth. In fact, as long as there is physical contact, there are conditions for fluid exchange. Definitely. Through the direct channel of kisses, plus enough media. The ability held by Xin Yan is more perfect, stable, and lasting. This is the verification obtained on Paradise Island. The female Spider-Man suddenly frowned and said, Then last time, whose ability did you get? Ah this. Xin Yan opened his eyes wide, feeling that he and the female Spider-Man's concerns were not in the same place. At this moment, the abrupt tremor of the earth continued to shake, and the thunder and roar of the sky continued, which indirectly relieved Xin Yan. What is that? Xin Yan and the female Spider-Man raised their eyes subconsciously, and looked over the city outside the alley together. They could see that a blue beam of light penetrated the sky 10 kilometers away, and the area of the torn abyss was three times larger than before. In the abyss of the sky, in addition to more black spots of alien machinery, there are also faintly drilled alien flight objects that are as large as spaceships and battleships. The powerful sound of the flight of the alien warship traveling can be clearly heard 10 kilometers away, making countless human beings fear and tremble from their hearts. Xinian, I must go. The female Spider-Man said firmly, looking at the alien forces coming in the distance. Xinian nodded, you pay attention to safety. If you can't fight, remember to evacuate. Don't be as rigid as last time. Okay, I will. The female Spider-Man took a deep look at Xin Yen, then pulled up her spider hood and raised her hand to shoot cobweb at the building opposite the alley entrance. Her vigorous and slender body flew and shuttled up the tall buildings, and soon disappeared in the direction of the battle in the center of the city. Watching the figure of the female Spider-Man go away, Xin Yen breathed out helplessly, muttering to herself, you have chosen to stay, how could I leave like this, fool Gwen? At this point, Gwen is very similar to Auntie. When disaster strikes, he will always come forward. He is a true hero with the glorious qualities of a god. Xin Yan is naturally not a hero, nor does he want to be a superhero. He is far from the great existence that abandons his life and even everything for someone he doesn't know. But but, Xin Yan is someone who will fight for his love. Since you want to protect the world, let me protect you. Xin Yan's eyes became brighter, and he calmed down and began to look around the walls. First, you must master the super spider ability held by Gwen. Xin Yan tried to put his palm on the wall, his fingertips seemed to carry invisible barbs, and it seemed to carry a strange static electricity, allowing him to climb up very easily. Even his feet stepped on the straight wall, Xin Yan was like a newborn spider, testing his ability ability for the first time, climbing up on a flat wall, moving very slowly and cautiously. Climb to the wall 10 meters upward. Xin Yan even roar sucked and glanced down high above the sky. However, he crawled on the wall and climbed more and more skillfully and quickly. Soon, Xin Yan climbed up to the 10-story rooftop along the wall and looked up and down to see the current tragic situation in New York City more clearly. Centered on the high-rise Stark Industrial Headquarters building, a 10-kilometer radius has been reduced to a large-scale alien battle. There are a large number of alien machinery on the battlefield, 
and the modern city has been devastated shortly after it has landed on the human city. Fighting giant reptile battleship. High-rise buildings were instantly razed to the ground, the streets burned with fierce flames, the smoke floating in the sky was condensed into dark clouds, and countless humans were wailing and screaming in despair. Human tragedy. And in the outer area of the city center 10 kilometers away, there are vehicles and pedestrians with luggage on the road, leaving along the main road outside the city in all directions, with trance, fear, anxiety, misery and so on on the face. It's like the end. This hell start is not so good. Just as Xin Yan was looking at the situation of the war in the distance, with a bang, several dazzling streams of flames fell on the buildings not far away, immediately blasting several low-rise houses into ruins. Countless sawdust and rubble splashed with fire, causing the peripheral people who had not yet evacuated to fled in panic. Xin Yan squinted his eyes and quickly looked to the sky on one side. Less than half a kilometer away, Several small alien flight vehicles approached at an extremely fast speed. Has the war situation spread to 10 kilometers away? It's just right, I will use you to practice hands. Xin Yan took a deep breath, and suddenly rushed forward towards one end of the rooftop. He leapt over the street more than 10 meters wide and landed on the top of the opposite high-rise building. Although not as good as the demigod power when holding the ant's ability, the body appears very light and sensitive under the spider ability. Xin Yan leapt on the rooftop and came to a tall building, just to capture the trajectory of a small alien flight body. It's now. Xin Yan looked at the flight's body within 20 meters, moved his mind, and quickly turned his wrist like a female Spider-Man. Well, the idea is full, the reality is very skinny. There is no cobweb shot on the wrist at all. Come out. Xin Yan was anxious, and tried to flip another wrist, but there was no response. Looking at the alien flight body about to pass by, Xin Yan gritted his teeth and jumped straight forward. Seeing figures flash by, the alien robot driving the small flight machine was taken aback, manipulating the flight machine to dodge, but Xin Yan was jumped forward and grabbed the corner of the flight machine's pedal with his left hand. Give me down. Xin Yan grabbed the metal ankle of the alien robot with his right hand, yanked the opponent out of the flight, and smashed into the nearby building with a force of several tons. External wall. There is also a robot on the back seat of the alien flight body. Seeing Xin Yan, the eyes of the alien robot were full of red light, the muzzle went down, and the trigger of the energy gun in his hand was pulled continuously. At this moment, the superb perception of the whole body is unprecedentedly keen. The keen perception seems to radiate outwards, weaving an invisible dense spider web around it, which can clearly perceive everything around it. In this state, he has a natural insight into the direction in which the muzzle is aimed, so while the alien robot pulls the trigger, his body also makes a dodge action at the same time. Laugh, laugh, laugh. Xin Yan grasped the flying high-altitude flight machine, twisting his body with amazing flexibility, avoiding the laser beam that shot himself dangerously and dangerously. Xin Yan grabbed the other side of the flight's pedal, swung his body lightly, kicked up with his heels, and jumped directly above the flight, kicking out the alien robot that he still wanted to shoot. Losing control, the flight machine speeded up and crashed towards a building out of control. Xin Yan was forced to jump off the plane and he was in the air, so he flipped his wrist subconsciously. This time, the white cobweb successfully shot from the wrist. Too late to rejoice. The other end of cobweb was glued to the outer wall of the high-rise building, and Xin Yan pulled cobweb in time, and the whole person was flying high. Take off. Behind him, the alien flight machine slammed into a high-rise building, and immediately roared and exploded into a shattered fireball. In New York, the battle for alien invasion continues to expand. Less than half an hour. Now, even in urban areas 10 kilometers outside, there are often alien robots infested. It is possible to imagine how fierce the battle in the central battle is. Periphery of the war. Bang. Wearing a peaked cap that covered half of his face and a jacket, the teenager swung a cobweb and fell sharply. The moment his body fell on the ground, he received a punch and was about to be an alien robot on the street. Blast to the ground. Click. Several tonnages of power were condensed on this punch, and the chest of the alien robot was shattered and penetrated, and several cracks were cracked in the ground on which it was lying. Looking at the squishy electric flowers on the broken body of the robot, Xin Yan exhaled a turbid heat, 
and his bright eyes looked up to the sky on the other side of the battle. The blue beam of light that caused the alien invasion is still going on, glowing with a hopelessly strong light. Even if the blue beam of light can be closed now, the forces of the alien legions that have descended into New York have been completely formed. New York, maybe it's really going to fall completely today. The spider ability on her body is almost mastered. It's time to go to Gwen. Xi Nian has a sense of urgency in her heart. If New York City is really on the verge of falling, I am afraid that New York has not completely given up resistance, has already given up New York first. Xi Nian was about to leave, but suddenly saw the ruins of destroyed and collapsed residential buildings next to him, and a string of addresses faintly hung on the iron fence at the only half of the door that survived. Originally, he just glanced at it unintentionally, but inexplicably, Xi Nian felt that this address was very familiar. Where have you seen it recently? Xi Nian was shocked. He reached out and took out a piece of paper from his jacket pocket. The address on the piece of paper was exactly the same as it is now. A silver-haired figure flashed through his mind. Pete. Xi Nian quickly rushed to the front of the ruined building and shouted inside. No one responded. This is also natural. The entire house collapsed, and the surrounding area was full of charred traces of bombing. It is very likely that Pete and his family had been evacuated long ago. If it really stays inside, then there is basically no chance of survival now. Xi Nian was silent. He put his hand on a stone among the rubble of the building, closed his eyes, and borrowed the keen sense of his extraordinary spider. Under the rubble, in the cracks of broken houses and furniture, it was dark. There are dead things all around. The only surviving girl was lying in the cracks of the ruins, unable to perceive any light and sound from the outside, but could only hear her own faint roar suction and heartbeat. Even the air is very thin. What it's like to wait for death alone, the girl really understands. The only luck in my heart is that my twin brother was not at home before the house was blown up. The girl's consciousness began to blur. Click. Did you hear me wrong? Suddenly, the girl barely opened her eyes as if she woke up, and vaguely heard the sound of turning animals from outside. I'm here. The girl opened her mouth and wanted to yell, but she was so weak that her voice was so small that it was almost inaudible. But the turning sound became more obvious, as if the person knew that the girl was here. Until, a ray of extremely bright light shone in from outside, and the girl opened her eyes wide, and what caught her eyes was a gentle young man's face. Xi Nian forcibly opened the ruined bunker and saw that it was buried deep in the cracks inside. The one who survived was a red-haired girl. Should I use lowly to describe it more appropriately? A girl around 13 years old wore a winter dress and was covered with dirty dust. Xi Nian didn't care, and carefully picked up the girl, lowered his head and asked, what's your name? Wanda, the red-haired girl said weakly. You are Pete's sister. Xi Nian suddenly. Sister. Little Wanda was stunned for a moment, like a wounded rabbit in Xi Nian's arms, and finally nodded timidly, and asked in a low voice, which one are you? Xi Nian Prince. I met Pete last night. I don't know if he mentioned me. Xi Nian said. Yes. Little Wanda stared at Xi Nian in a daze. He didn't expect that the person the brother said yesterday would save her life again today. Pete is not at home, right? Xi Nian asked for confirmation. Not here. Little Wanda shook her head laboriously, suddenly realizing something, and staring straight at Xi Nian, struggling to look around. My parents, they. Terribly sorry. Xi Nian felt that she shouldn't be hiding from the girl, staring at her, and said frankly, when I was searching for them, they were the first to be found out, and they have lost their vital characteristics. Wanda's body trembled violently. In fact, the girl was buried in the ruins just now, and she had this idea faintly without hearing any sound. Until now, it was confirmed that Wanda's will finally couldn't hold on, and his eyes closed and passed out into a coma. Xi Nian looked down at Wanda, who was unconscious, and his hands clasped slightly tighter. He could understand that a girl of this age suddenly lost her parents, and she would definitely not be able to bear huge amounts of grief for a while. Today, not only the Wanda family has lost their families, but countless families in New York are destined to be broken. Xi Nian sighed, and was about to leave with Wanda in his arms, to a safer place outside the city. However, an accident happened. Step on. One, two, three, six. 
A total of six alien robots descended from the sky and landed on the periphery of the ruins in an enveloping manner, enclosing Xin Yan who was holding the girl on the ruins. In addition, there are several small alien flight vehicles hovering in the low air, staring at Xin Yan below. Did you come for me? Xin Yan's eyes were slightly cold. These alien robots were obviously in contact with each other. Because he had just killed some alien robots on the periphery of the battle, he obviously sent more aliens now. The forces came and concentrated on encircling him. There are alien enemies in the sky and on the ground. If he was alone, the ability of Super Spider alone would be somewhat reluctant. What's more, there is still a comatose girl in her arms, so it's not easy to shoot. I can only break out. Xin Yan was planning to break out, but soon, he noticed something strong. The alien robots with guns on the ground and the flight machine hovering at a low altitude, at the moment, they were all motionless as if they had fallen into a crash no, it should be said that their bodies were dominated by mysterious and strange power. Unable to move at all. Click. First, the head of the first alien robot twisted 360 degrees autonomously, and a creaking electric current flowed from the neck. Then, the heads of the other alien robots also twisted one after another. Not only did the alien robots go to extinction by suicide, in the air, the parts of the small alien flight machines began to tear apart one by one. Jingle bells. The alien mechanical forces that could threaten the super spider Washinian have not yet taken action and have gone to self-destruction in a dead silence, turning into a pile of scrap copper and rotten iron and falling on the ruins. Spider ability is giving a strong warning. Xin Yan quickly turned around holding Wanda and saw another green-haired girl with smoky makeup, stepping on metal parts all over the floor coming from behind him. Hi, brother. Lorna waved to Xin Yan with the same madness as always when she first saw it, Roar, her white and slender hands were surrounded by green fluorescence. On the ruins of the war in the outer cities, Xin Yan was a little stunned, watching the green-haired girl stepping on a bunch of alien mechanical parts showing up, isn't it just the gang boss Lorna he met last night? At the moment, Lorna's hands are lingering with mysterious and unknown green fluorescence, and her small body exudes a strong pressure-like reality. Whether it is the alien mechanical force that immediately disintegrated and defeated, or the involuntary high warning of the super spider mutant physique, it undoubtedly shows to Xin Yan that the girl in front of her has a young age and Loli's appearance does not match. Horror ability. As a result, Xin Yan blinked and said wittily, Good morning, boss. Tisk. Lorna was a little surprised, waved away the green fluorescent energy, and laughed frantically, Why, now you want to join my power? No, Xin Yan thought for a while, and gave an ambiguous statement, however, in my mind, you are the boss, the most dazzling star in the sky at night Polaris, by the way, I will how about calling you Polaris boss. Polaris, I like this name, Lorna murmured, but very quickly, she seemed to react again, looking at Xin Yan expressionlessly, are you fooling me? The boss in your mind, that's it, say, you still don't plan to be my subordinate. Not waiting for Xin Yan to speak, Lorna waved her hand again and said, forget it, just do it with you. Thank you Polaris boss. Xin Yan breathed a sigh of relief, and then asked somewhat curiously, boss, why are you here? Lorna did not respond. She glanced sideways at the ruins of the house. The corpses of the middle-aged couple who had lost their life characteristics also showed no expression on their smoky faces. Lorna said inexplicably, Pete was taken away. Who? Xin Yan frowned and asked. I don't know, I saw it. Not long ago, someone took advantage of the chaos in the city and caught Pete on a modified Black Bridge car. He should no longer be in New York City. Lorna calmed down. Looking at Xin Yan, he said, my men and I are also preparing to evacuate outside the city. Xin Yan nodded and said, then you go quickly. Now, this city may be ruined at any time. He did not propose to let abilities powerful Lorna save the city or something. Faced with the current alien invasion, everyone has their own choice. Even if that person's ability is strong enough, it is understandable to choose to evacuate, as long as it is not taking advantage of the crisis to make chaos. Do you want to leave with us? With me, I can make sure that you can leave New York safely. Lorna spoke confidently, and he also had that confident capital. No, my friend is still in the battle in the center of the city. I must go in and find her. 
Xin Yan refused very simply and motioned to Wanda in his arms. If you can, please take her to a safe place. Bar. Lorna's gaze fell on Wanda, a ripple of emotion flashed in her eyes, and she stepped forward and approached Xin Yan. You are too high, squat down a bit. Green-haired Loli frowned slightly, dissatisfied. Yes, boss. Xin Yan didn't know what to say. This was the first time someone said that he was too tall. Definitely, no one dares to say that the current Polaris boss is too low, otherwise he must be tired of life. Xin Yan hugged Wanda, with her feet in front of each other, and her body slightly tilted forward so that her eyes were on the same level as Lorna's. Look at each other straight and close together. A fascinating look flashed in Xin Yan's eyes. I didn't see clearly in the alley last night. Lorna's eyes were actually pale green, cold and enchanting, like a crystal clear emerald. It's like a finishing touch. With Lorna's exquisite and arrogant face and unruly smoky makeup on the corners of her eyes, she has an alternative and extreme beauty. Lorna looked at Wanda, who was unconscious in Xin Yan's arms, and fell silent briefly. Xin Yan suddenly became curious. Lorna will appear on the periphery of the battle here, mostly not for him, but for the current red-haired girl Wanda. After all, she was still paying attention to Pete who was captured by mysterious forces. And many more. Xin Yan noticed one thing. The green-haired girl Lorna in front of me, and the red-haired girl Wanda in his arms, although one puts on heavy makeup and the other does not have any makeup, they can still see the similarities from the little faces of each other's beauties. Could it be? A bold guess flashed in Xin Yan's mind, but in the next instant, his brain went blank and went down. But Lorna suddenly stood on tiptoe, her body was close to Wanda in Xin Yan's arms, and her mouth was sealed strongly. Xin Yan stayed for a while, and was forced to kiss him again. The girl's kiss seemed a bit rusty and unskilled, but very domineering and bold. Xin Yan only felt that her lips had been bitten, and the smell of blood spread to the tip of her tongue, but the girl still showed no sign of stopping. Why is this happening? Xin Yan wanted to retreat, but Lorna put his hand on his shoulder instead, half driving his body. Since he was still holding the unconscious Wanda in both hands, Xin Yan couldn't get away for a while. Too late to think. In order to keep her lips from suffering, Xin Yan can only lead the girl to the right way. Lorna opened her pale green eyes and learned quickly, even by analogy. Until, Lorna backed away abruptly, bringing out a trace of clearly visible medium. She wiped her mouth, the dark lipstick on her lips was gone, and said indifferently, it feels, not bad. Why? Xin Yan looked blank. Nothing. Just as a reward for your little brother, let's make good use of my ability. Lorna reached out and took the unconscious Wanda, turned and walked away from the ruins. Xin Yan watched the other party go away. Why would the other party know his ability? In other words, when was it exposed? Most likely, when we separated from the female Spider-Man just now. Popta. Xin Yan suddenly fell on his knees and knelt on the ground. His left hand supported the ground, and the five fingers of his right hand tightly covered his left chest where his heart was. So hot. The heart's unprecedented scorching heat, like a stove burning all the time, so that the blood in the body will boil. Xin Yan gasped and panted quickly and sweated all over, his pupils dilated and contracted from time to time, and his eyes changed back and forth between black and green, swaying. This is the first time in Xin Yan through the Lord of the Dependents to have two kinds of extraordinary powers at the same time. Compared with the last time, the parasitic characteristics of the symbiont are different. After all, the symbiote is just a parasitic combination, which can be separated, and this time. The super spider ability of mutant evolution, and the special extraordinary ability of mutant evolution. Two kinds of extraordinary ability, which are very different in terms of compatibility and fit, at the moment, they converge in Xin Yan's body and begin to force integrate. Two super genes, one of which appears in the body, is destined to swallow the other and cannot coexist with each other. But because of the, ordinary, physique of universal charger, the DNA strands of these two genes began to break. Under the influence of the Lord's ability, the extraordinary genes overlapped briefly and were repaired into one body. Xin Yan raised her eyes, her hair did not change, but the dizzy color under her eyes fixed to ice blue. New York, the outer areas of the city that have not been covered by the war. In a factory warehouse, five or six cars are parked side by side here. There are luxury cars and RVs. 
Inside and outside the cars, many gangsters who dye their hair or tattoos are waiting. These gangsters wandered around in an anxious manner, but didn't dare to drive away in advance, so they could only wait and wait forever. At this time, Lorna walked in through the warehouse door with Wanda in a coma on her back. The boss is back, the big sister's head is finally here. Aliens are almost here, they can leave this ghost place. The gangsters of men and women exclaimed ecstatically. One of the tattooed youths stepped forward and reported to Lorna in awe. Boss, the car is all ready, filled with gas, guns and cash are available. The license plates are for official use by the police, and no one dares to stop them. We are out of town. Lorna nodded calmly. She put the unconscious Wanda on a bed in the caravan, then walked out of the caravan and leaned against the caravan door with her arms folded. Outside the car, all the gangsters who were about to set off looked at her, not knowing why. Lorna took out a pack of cigarettes and a metal lighter, lit the cigarette with a cigarette in her mouth, and spit out a circle of white smoke and said, We, don't go. Boss, what are you talking about? On the court, everyone was stunned. Wait a little longer, there is no need to rush to leave. Lorna raised her pale green eyes, puffing out clouds, and looking up to the side of the city. New York, the central battlefield of the city, is a retro building that is not much different from an ordinary church. On the top roof, the face of the bald woman in the spotless yellow robe was calm as usual, with one hand behind her waist, and a golden circular strange mark with the other hand appeared. He looked at the alien machinery that was flying by and hitting like a dense locust, trying to invade in. The bald woman stood on the roof of the building, waving her right hand with the golden seal at random. Those alien mechanical bodies were not yet near the edge of the building, they were directly shattered by the powerful and invisible power, and turned into countless iron filings with sparks and scattered away. It is easy to guard the church building alone. Even looking at the fall of New York City outside, the bald woman did not frown. For her, compared with the current alien invasion, there are more terrifying potential enemies to guard against. Only at this moment, the bald woman seemed to perceive something, and finally there was a subtle sway in her face, and she raised her eyes to a certain direction outside the city's battle situation. Alien. The bald woman frowned, then muttered to herself, variable. Above the ruins. At the same time, Xin Yen, who possesses two extraordinary gene abilities, stood up. His icy blue eyes looked down at his hands, and he felt a sense of wonder that he had never felt before. This kind of wonder is still unclear. But, Xin Yen looked at the inner war situation in the city center. If he was in his current state, he might be able to reverse the situation of New York's fall. Thinking of this, Xin Yen walked towards the center of the battle. Enter the urban war within 10 kilometers, that is, the junction of the inner and outer areas. There has been a complete blackout in the urban area, and humans have been evacuated long ago, leaving only buildings, vehicles, and other personal objects such as shoes on the ground. No part of the whole street is intact, and heavy gunpowder smoke is rising everywhere. Click. In addition to the alien robots driving small flight machines, there are also alien mechanical creatures crawling on all fours, wandering in the current urban areas that are basically declared occupied, and carpet hunting and hunting surviving humans in hiding. Suddenly, some of the extraterrestrial mechanical creatures searching inside the broken building, all of them raised their metal heads keenly, and their eyes flashing with red electronic pupils looked towards the road outside. An empty, messy city pedestrian street. A human teenager with black hair and blue eyes was pacing forward. While he lowered his head to think about what he was thinking, he went deep into the battle within the city, as if he hadn't noticed the existence of terrifying aliens lurking. Boom. From the high-rise building on the side, a crawling alien mechanical creature violently broke through the glass and rushed towards the teenager in the street below. The sharp metal front paws are about to pierce through the stomach, and the big metal fangs are about to crush the head. Human teenagers walked forward without realizing it. When the alien mechanical creature plunged into the juvenile's three-meter range, it suddenly stopped all its movements, and it was fixed in mid-air like a stutter, and the metal body could no longer get closer to the slightest. It's like being held tightly by an invisible big hand. The alien mechanical creature stayed motionless in the air until the boy's finger moved forward and stopped for five seconds. The alien mechanical creature suddenly swept through the air at a very fast speed, and crashed into the other side that was pounced. 
star mechanical creatures. The metal heads passed through each other's metal chests, and the two alien mechanical creatures were scrapped into a pile of scrap copper and rotten iron, losing their intelligence and falling to the ground. So that's it, Xin Yan muttered to herself. He finally realized at this moment, the powerful root of Lorna ability. Metal control. And, Xin Yan raised his head and looked at the other three or four heads, from different directions, simultaneously surrounding the alien mechanical creatures. There is no movement, just a thought. A huge green energy tide swept outwards centered on Xin Yan. The energy tide rushed on the oncoming alien mechanical creatures, immediately causing their bodies to burst into electricity, disintegrate and shatter, and smash them back on abandoned cars and buildings. This is magnetic field manipulation, metal control, magnetic field manipulation, and position, this is the extraordinary ability that Lorna has. Definitely, the origin should come from the control of one of the four powers of magnetism. However, the ability that Xin Yan has mastered now is the integration of ability held by Lorna and Gwen. It is not as simple as holding two kinds of extraordinary abilities at the same time, two kinds of extraordinary abilities usher in each other's integrate superposition, and each other enhances and optimizes the other's ability performance. Xin Yan tried to extend an index finger forward, and suddenly a metal cobweb shot out from his fingertip. Laugh. The almost invisible metal cobweb ejected forward, passing a hundred meters in a flash, and directly pierced through a small flight machine, along with two alien robots driving on the flight machine. Candied Haws. Is this, the spider ability after the metal control gain? Xin Yan took back the metal cobweb. While he was still thinking about it, several orange stream flames abruptly launched here. Xin Yan tilted her head instinctively and easily avoided a stream of flames, but because her position did not move, she was still covered by the stream of flames. Boom! Everything in Xin Yan in a radius of 10 meters is shrouded by a powerful explosion group. Without waiting for the flames and smoke from the explosion to dissipate, a slender figure kept pacing out from the pit that was more than 3 to 4 meters sunken. The silver spider pattern reflects the cold light of the metal in the sun. Xin Yan wears a spider hood battle suit that is almost the same style as the female Spider-Man, except that the battle suit is made of highly tough cobweb metal, like a silver exoskeleton covering the entire body of the boy's body. This should be the ultimate form of holding both metal control and super spider ability at the same time. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and support my channel.